Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another cubing video. So what I've decided is that for the time being, uh, while you know the Corsair is a little while away, uh, since I'm still working my way to 275 on the Xenon, uh, what I would like to do is recube some of my gear. Uh, so what I'm starting off here with is the Meister Ring end result. So I know in the previous video I said I was considering throwing a few more cubes on it because I had about two cubes left and then the uh, the daily rewards gave me an extra three or four cubes so I figured why not try my luck having more than two cubes to see what stat I get and ended up getting that so I'm fairly happy with that because it's a two line stat uh, I would have preferred it to be you know three line all stat as I was saying in the video but two line with 12% strength is a fairly decent ring so it's 27% uh, all together uh, so yeah so what we're going to be doing now is there's a number of equips that I think I addressed in my equip video where they do need to be recubed starting off with the uh, Sengoku badge here and then moving on to things like my uh, CRA hat, top, bottom, cape, superior ring, uh, Sweetwater monocle and Sweetwater tattoo. Uh, so the Sweetwater tattoo is 30% dex altogether. I would love to be able to transfer that uh, to the Corsair. I still do not understand why Nexon has not uh, made those things uh, transferable via something like a sharing tag or a platinum scissors of karma uh, but this is how it is with Sweetwater equips I guess um, so yeah what um, we'll pretty much be doing is with the Sweetwater one we'll be black cubing it until I can come across something better because it is a very good equip for what it is and yeah I just don't want to cube a stat like that away unless I get something better than that uh, I'm only using black cubes from the reward uh, the monthly reward shop uh, since with the current event, you know, you're getting about 1.5k reward points per day. So I had about 30k altogether. And uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be wasting a lot of my money on black cubes. Uh, I'll really just be focusing on red cubes and maybe considering uh, some other options as well, just depending on what I have available to me at the time. Uh, but yeah, using a combination of red cubes and um, Meister cubes uh, for the time being should be enough to really... Uh, roll some stats and see what I get because what I found was that on my CRA hat I went with that combination of you know percent all stat percent dex and advanced bless because advanced bless wasn't available through fifth job as a node uh, before uh, so now I've got that one again I keep referencing the node video it's my, my skills are just about there where I won't have to touch them again, so I'd just love to be able to do a video on that uh, when it's all finished. So I should be finishing it today once I'm done training. I'll open some node stones because I need to sell some, and I'll probably be able to finish off, finish off the last couple of skills that I have to go. I think I've just got a few 24s that need to get up to level 25. Uh, but yeah, getting back to what I was saying, uh, when I made this gear, you know, things like uh, Hyper Body, uh, Advanced Bless, uh, speed infusion all of those sorts of things weren't available because fifth job wasn't out so the only way you could get it was through uh, the decent skill which was only available on those equips uh, so what I'd like to do is cube that out I am conscious that I am cubing on a hat that I'm planning to transpose with Sweetwater and I believe you I think it goes down to unique uh, so I might be wasting my time here but I'm not planning on transposing anytime soon so I'd still like to get that little bit of an increase in the stat even just for the time being uh, so yeah if I can land on on two two lines of all stat uh, I'll be happy uh, but I'm not going to go absolutely over the top uh, with something that may be changing in the future and then yeah so then my CRA pants still have hyper body on them with two other lines of stat as well uh, so I'd like to get that out and then changing over to things like my superior ring and the uh, tyrant cape even though the tyrant cape will also be being replaced uh, by an arcane cape eventually once I get my hands on one and get it scrolled and star forced and cubed so again it's a while away uh, just by the way that I've been moving through working on things uh, the maple points that I'm using on the red cubes are intended for the next uh, double miracle time so I'm not sure when the next one is. I keep seeing mentions of people saying, you know, when's it coming up, when's it coming up, because I uh, believe there hasn't been one for a while. And uh, yeah, so that's um, 
that's really what I'd like to use those maple points on. So I'd like to do a few equips for the Xenon and then a few equips for the Corsair. So ideally for the Corsair, I'd like to do a to cube a full CR race set, a Sweetwater tattoo, Sweetwater monocle, uh, another superior, maybe two superior earrings. Uh, yeah, probably because I'd like to. Ideally, I'd like to make a full drop rate set for the Corsair as well because the plan is once I hit 275 on the Xenon. I'll be training on the Corsair and I'd like to continue the farming routine that I've got going on the Xenon because I have pretty much been funding myself through the Miso drop and the node stones that have been dropping uh, in Lamina and if I'll be training in CLP then I'll be able to farm droplets as well and sell droplets and that was quite profitable for me when I first came back. Again when I moved out of uh, CLP it made it more difficult because I wasn't getting those droplets anymore. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just setting aside a whole bunch of maple points to spend on those equips. So I'd say there'd probably be about 10 to 12 equips that I'd like to cube. And then uh, going from there, I'll go back to using Meister Cubes and Red Cubes on all of that. I'm keeping in mind that I don't want to completely ignore the Xenon because I'd really like to run with two characters because uh, I feel like that's the one thing that I didn't do. Uh, when I got 250 on the Xenon because I really had it in my head where I didn't want to work on Legion, I didn't want to really do anything else, I just wanted to get 250 and then sit back and relax and then I eventually ended up quitting that character altogether and quitting Maple for about a year before coming back to Reboot. So what I'd like to do is to, you know, obviously I've got ideas for doing 8k Legion, making the Corsair, getting the Corsair to 250 or 255, then seeing where I go after that so if I get uh, uh, well yeah if I get to 255 and I find that that's enough then I'll stop there or I'll keep going just to do farming uh, I know I did skip over the 12 uh, what, what was it the 1296 uh, pants that I made <laughs> with the percent strength it's a little bit frustrating to get that I would have loved it to go the way the meistering went uh, but yeah so that's uh, that's an equip that would really be ideal for something like a, a Buccaneer uh, or a Cannoneer in terms of Explorers. Uh, but if I ever make one of those, I guess I could move it over there. I'll still intend on keeping them for the Xenon because uh, they wouldn't be that beneficial moving them to the Corsair. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I'm working my way through level 270 at the moment, as you would have seen with my percentage bar while cubing. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a, it, it is longer, obviously, because it's pretty much double the amount of EXP per level than it was uh, each level from 260 to 270. Uh, so yeah, it's I'm doing about two to three hours of training per day, which is giving me about three to four uh, percent. Just, uh, yeah, it's it's just the rates that I'm, I'm dealing with. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I know there's a, there's a light at the end of the tunnel with all of this. Uh, so thank you for watching and uh, keep an eye out for the node stone video. That'll be coming out, uh, the, the skill node video, I mean. That'll be coming out very soon. All right, thanks for watching. See you later.